Hey guys, Ace here from Ace in Designs Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to make a gang sheet. Um, a gang sheet is a term that we use for our DTF printing or any type of large format printing, really. Um, a gang sheet would be you take all of your designs and you put them on one sheet for one order. Um, for example, for our direct-to-film printing on our Etsy store or just on our online store, we recommend, we recommend people using the gain sheet for their orders, especially if you have a lot of orders. So that's gonna help you save space, which is an equivalent to saving money. So for this example, we're gonna be making a 22 inch gain sheet by however, however long linear, right? So pretty simple, pretty easy, um, but people have trouble with it sometimes. A lot of it has to do with, they don't have a, uh, a knowledge of how to use the editing program or they don't have editing program. So. Today, I'm gonna kind of walk you through on how to use a couple different options. Um, one being um, Photoshop and Adobe and Illustrator and GIMP, which is a free program, and possibly some more. So, follow along. We're gonna show you how to make a game sheet. You can use this uh, in the future, you know, if you're, if you're placing orders for a lot of printing, uh, whether it be DTF or decals or whatever it may be. Um, so, hopefully, this will help you. So, let's get to it on the computer. All right, guys, so we're here on the computer and we are going to first try a free option, right? So the best free one I know is called GIMP. Now to do this, this does require you to have a computer. Um, so we're going to go to their website, GIMP.org, and we're going to download it real quick. Um, we can just do it right here. And then I'm just going to save it to my downloads. We go and this doesn't take about four minutes to download so we'll come back uh, when it's done downloading all right so GIMP is done downloading so we're just gonna run the install I just double click it there and then it says install mode so we're gonna do it for all users yes and it pops with that little Windows menu there English install so we're gonna run this installer run, um, pretty simple. But again, I'm gonna try to stay with you through the entire process. Awesome, so now we're just gonna hit finish right here and let it load up. All right, so now we can go into our windows. I was on top in GIMP, you can see it right there. nice little splash screen here looks like it's still installing some things all right so we are officially in GIMP so I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit bigger for us and we're gonna do a new project new and we're gonna change this to inches remember we want our width to be 22 inches right and you can go so an example like for our website on our Etsy store right you have these different options so for this example, we do 22 by 24. Um, you can go all the way up to 22 by 300. So that's pretty big, right? So we're gonna go to 22 by 24. So image size 22 inches by 24. And make sure this is in inches, right? And this is 300 DPI, awesome. Um, resolution 300 by 300, great. Hit okay. Yep. Sweet. So now we have our artboard here, and then next we want to bring in, you know, our PNGs, right? So let me see if I can grab us some PNGs real quick. Uh, let's see. We'll just grab some of these other Etsy orders we have here. Uh, let me make sure this is a PNG. Give you an example. Web P. Yeah, PNG file, right? So I'm going to just drag this PNG into there. Awesome. Now, 
over on the right hand side we have a background we want to turn that background off okay now we have our image and we can move our image around and we can get them tight right so we can go right here if you right click on it on your file you can uh, hit uh, duplicate layer All right and we're just gonna drag that over see super simple and so we can do that again I'm gonna select both of these oh. I'm gonna hit duplicate and then I can just keep moving it around if I can grab it here, here we go and just keep moving it around and filling up my page pretty simple right and because it's a PNG you can see all these little squares right those squares aren't gonna print out that's just telling the image that it's a PNG file so now we have our sheet and we can keep filling it up um, let's see here I'll grab this one I'll make it another duplicate layer and then we want to let's see right here we're gonna do a little bit of transforming here with it right so let's pull up our transform tool give me one second okay all right so we're gonna pull up our transfer tool so say we have this layer right here right and we want to make it smaller we can just right click right here and we can go to scale layer we'll make sure it's in inches as well and we just want it to be like a little bit smaller so we can go down here or we can go let's say two inches by two inches hit scale and made it smaller for us right super simple and again we just duplicate that and fill our sheet so now we need to save it go to file export as find wherever you're gonna save it at select files spot type right here and what you want to save it as is .png right so we're going to scroll down until you see png right here and you'll notice it says .png right here so if we change this it would change the file extension at the top so we want to make sure it's a .png image name it whatever you want to and then just press export and then you can just hit export right here there we go so now it's going to export that image super simple right so next we're going to try this with Photoshop so I already have Photoshop installed so I'm just going to go ahead and make a new document again my width 22 inches height I'm going to do 24 resolution is 300 and then I'm going to pull that same file in and Photoshop to me is a little bit easier to manage so I pulled my file in and now I need to, to duplicate it right so again you can grab this and you can just pull it to the new layer down here and I'll make a duplicate of it there you go you can also hold alt down on your keyboard and see how your mouse just changed what it looked like and you just drag down and it makes a duplicate that's what I like to do it's super fast and again this is a PNG right so we need to make sure this background is turned off again we have our little boxes and we can just you know maneuver this if you hold if you hit control T you can scale it down a whole lot easier I love working with Photoshop uh, but I know not everybody has that so again you fill this up with all your designs make sure it's nice and neat and you can you know get more designs in that sheet so now it's time to save it as well so you can go file you're gonna go to export I'm sorry save a copy save it on your computer and just save it anywhere um, and then you can also so if you're having if you're using vector content as in vector as in like it's a scalable object um, you can do PDF dot PDF or dot PNG so PDF is going to keep your vectors um, so you, you can scale them however big you want to or do dot PNG whichever one is easiest for you we just need you to know that if you have a background behind the design it will save that background so if it's a white background it will come out as white if we print it so we need to make sure that when you send your order in you know if you're doing any type of gain sheet for anybody else that you comprehend that that is going to happen right 
Um, another program with which I will try to show you is Canva, right? So I'm logged here into my Canva account. If I hit create design up here and custom size, again, I can put my width 22 by 24, make sure this is in inches and hit create new design. And so same thing really, right? So we want to just upload um, a file. Well, I already have one here. So this is a PNG and we can just keep making duplicates so you can hit this button right here duplicate same thing so you just keep filling up your space and then now you want to hit share right so the weird thing with canva is like as i've been telling you that if you have a white background it doesn't come out white um canva just has a white background right but it won't save out that way and let's double check that so we're gonna hit share and we hit download right here now I have the paid version of Canva, so it might be a little bit different for y'all. Um, it looks like it is. So I'm gonna hit transparent background and it says PNG, right? So I'm, I can do PNG or I can do PDF. So whichever one is easiest for you, PNG or PDF is fine. I remember PDF is gonna have the highest quality resolution of your image. Um, so we can just do either or. So if I hit PDF right now, I can do that or I can hit PNG. Right, just make sure you have transparent background checked. So if I hit download, it will download it to my downloads right here. And then now I can open this file up and we'll check it out. Oh, it's on my other monitor here. So you can see how there's it's black now, not white. It's because it has no background. But you have your design here, transparent. So when we go to print it, there will be no issues. Um, same thing with Illustrator. So if you want to make a new file inside of Adobe Illustrator, again, 22 and then whatever height you want. And this is dealing with vector artwork. So this is a little bit more complex and advanced. So you would want to pull in, you know, some type of vector design. So let me get one for y'all. And the weird thing is, not weird, but so you can't really turn a JPEG into a PNG or a vector through Illustrator. You can trace it and stuff, um, but results may vary really for that. So I'm just gonna pull in an example of a vector logo. So this is ours, right? It's just white, so we can change that to like black. I'm just going to pull it into my sheet here. So this is a vector, so I can scale it infinitely. It will never get blurry. But again, I can just make a lot of duplicates. Again, I can just hold down Alt and drag. And I can make my copies. I can make them smaller, bigger. You again, go to File, Save a Copy. Um, and then you can do PDF, EPS. Um, and then also, you can just go to File, exports uh, for screens or export as and then you have PNG as well so I hope that was quick and easy for you um, that way you have an idea of how to make a game sheet using you know some paid apps like Adobe using Photoshop or Illustrator or using GIMP which is free or Canva um, I do believe you have to have the paid version of Canva to get that transparent background option if you have any questions or comments please uh, message us email us and I'll be glad to help you out and see what we can do for you Again, guys, I'm H. Mason Designs and Productions, and have a great day.